dropped that flat leg. Just hanging around. Dude, that's a fright. I close my eyes, I still see it. Nice. Are you going to take it for a spin or no? Okay. It's almost done. Wave. I see the finish line. Okay, I'm here with Eric Valdez, who is the president of the Asheville Vehicle Outfitters, mm -hmm. which is in Fletcher, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And this is your new location, right? It is. Yep, this is our new spot. So what is a vehicle outfitter? Uh, we build trucks, you know, specifically for overlanding and just getting getting out outdoors, you know, uh, whether it's rooftop tent or whether it's a suspension to get you outside, we can basically build trucks to go where most people want to go. And the Alley Cab uh, is something you kind of specialize in, right? Uh, yes, we are the Southeast dealer for Alu Cab. So we do a lot of Alu Cab out of this location. We're super close to the Pisgah National Forest and a lot of really beautiful state forests and, and just a really nice area here. So a lot of cool and convenient places to use the gear that we have here, which well, is what, what makes us What's so special up. about the Alu Cab? Uh, it's from South Africa, great group of people that make them. Uh, really great company, uh, really heavy duty, um, tough campers, tents, awnings, everything's really, really uh, heavy duty and hard to break. And uh, and it's very easy to use. Uh, the tents open up in seconds, the campers do, the awnings. Uh, and I think everybody loves the convenience of them, how cool they look. I mean, this truck looks amazing. And uh, and how long they'll last you. So you you and your team have put together a truck here, Tony. Uh, I bought it bare bones and you guys have outfitted it. Yeah. So you're going to give us a, a walkthrough of that right now. Yeah, you guys can follow me and uh -huh. I'll show you around the truck and show you what we've done to it. Great. All right. Uh -huh. So starting with the front end, uh, we've got the ARB Summit bumper. Uh, your fog lights are, um, are wired into your factory fog light switch. So these turn on just right from your factory fog. Okay. These are your turn signal indicators. Um, they do light up at night with a little uh, just clear indicator. Uh, and then, you know, they are LED for your uh, turn signals. Um, you've got a flip up tag bracket to get to your Factor 55 flat link. Um, that is a replacement of the worn hook. Uh, so we put that on there for you. The flat link mounts up to the, to the uh, fair lead a little bit cleaner. It doesn't scuff up the fair lead. And with a, you know, soft shock or a D ring, you can, uh, easily hook up to your tree protector or to another recovery strap, what it be that you'd be recovering to. Um, and this bracket is a swing way uh, bracket for states that require a front license plate is really convenient so that you can still keep your license plate on and be able just to move this up out of the way when you're winching, which is nice. Um, the ARB Summit bars do have these access ports right here to be able to get to the clutch handle on the winch. Um, so when you go to um, pull your winch line out. You can go ahead and disengage that and go ahead and start to pull um, your winch line out freely. And then you can re-engage it right from here. So this is new on the Summit bumpers, different from the traditional deluxe bumpers from ARB, the last generation. They're now included on this side as well. And in addition to being able to get to the winch, they also allow you to get to your lights. All right, so if you've got to take your lights off, um, you can you know just open there and not have to like, you know, break your hand or use a special tool to, to get yeah, to your lights cool. there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've got your LP6 is all wired in. That's routed to your S pod inside, which we'll show you. Uh, I'll go over before you go. Um, and remember, this is a dual beam light where your um, kind of built in floodlights here, peripheral lighting are, are built in. They come on every single time you turn on the light. And when your lights turn on, these do backlight uh, orange, which is nice for like an amber at night. They look mean. really cool. Yeah, kind of yeah. just a looks thing there. It looks really good on these. Really great light. Um, but that's manual, that's not gonna come on with your high beams or anything like that. Got your high lift mounted on high lift uh, mounts up top here. A uh, little case here to, you know, just kind of keep dust and grime from getting yeah, into the- Thank you for that. Actually, <laughs> no worries, <laughs> favorite bag. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, but this is really secure and in a convenient place when you do use, use your high lift. And all ARB, well, these summit bars for the, for the Tacomas do come with reinforced high lift points on the front too. 
and oh, yeah. um, so yeah. they they give you a nice uh, heavy duty spot to be able to pick the front of the bumper up from, which is nice for front of the vehicle from. Under the hood, you have your off-grid engineering dual battery system uh, with your Red Arc BC DC. Um, this is what's controlling your dual battery system, and all that does is basically take the power. Uh, basically from the vehicle and start to charge your second battery and also charge that that second battery properly um, to the correct like 14 and a half volts of what AGMs really need to, to charge uh, fully. Uh, and then this is also your solar controller too. All right. There's nothing you need to do here to actually um, do anything with the second battery or anything. This does it all automatically for you. There's no switches inside the vehicle like mine or anything. Solar is all done automatically as well. So you don't have to necessarily mess around with this. All right, so this is your still your primary battery. We just retained your factory battery here because this still does just what the normal Tacoma needs to do to turn on, which this battery does just fine doing that. Uh, and then you've got your second battery. That is officially your house battery, house battery for the camper like we would have in any camper or RV. They have a specific battery that is for all the accessories and all the fun things inside the camper. Um, solar and everything is wired to that is is set to be charging that battery okay on top of your fuse block you have your bantam x s pod this is your uh, s pod which you can run a bunch of different accessories to so right now you've got your baja designs lights routed to this you can add all sorts of accessories to this later on whether it be like rock lights or additional auxiliary lighting around the vehicle or on the camper stuff like that basically you have one system or one ethernet cable that goes inside the vehicle and everything else all these accessories lights and stuff they just go to these circuits so it's like you don't have to have eight switches inside the vehicle you have one little display screen inside Very cool. so this cleans up the interior uh, or the inside of the uh underneath the uh, hood pretty pretty neatly you also have your diff breather mounted under the hood here that's been relocated up here for you and so your diffs can breathe freely uh when uh, you're wheeling you've got um, and not get water and stuff into your factory diff breather, which are cut pretty short. And then you've got your fuse for your inverter. Um, and uh, that we'll walk around and we'll kind of go over that. You don't want to really uh, mess too much with, with the setup we have here. You want to be careful messing around with the inverter. Um, kind of read through that and stuff like that, the connections to the battery. But uh, you, you can replace the fuse right there if that were um you know to go out for whatever reason right but you can kind of see all the wiring and stuff and all that's run neatly to the back of the vehicle pretty yeah, cool I was, I was impressed with how neatly the cabling's been laid out oh yeah bundled up it's yeah excellent job yeah thank you thank you yeah it's supposed to be really nice and neat not take really too much attention away from from what's already under here you know it's supposed to look good and be easy to get to and you've got your fuses easy to get to as well yeah. suspension on the vehicle you don't have to really fool with it it's an ome you know two and a half inch suspension system it's not adjustable like mine so uh you know you just drive it you don't have to worry about changing any settings on this one which is cool still very very reliable system and um you know it's it's well suited for heavier trucks like this it, and you know getting a lot of miles on them they're super reliable you do have a three-year 36 000 mile warranty on the suspension system so um just like in a factory warranty uh, on a new vehicle you've got that on your suspension I have never good. seen really a nitro charger. Seriously, I, I haven't had any of my customers ever have a failure of a nitro charger. Um, you do have ARB's uh, skid plate system or UVP system as they would call it. It's all the way through the belly of the vehicle. Yeah, I don't know if I can look under there. Um, yep, so you see got the, a, a lot the of white section of it down there. there. So that's the start of it. We have those on our truck and we've you know beat them up pretty good. So. Um, they're a good skid plate system and, and give you a lot of protection on the vehicle. If you do need to get an oil change though on this vehicle, you have to pull that skid plate, uh, which most most places will be able to do that. Just remember okay. that you will have to do that to get to the filter and drain Hopefully the there'll be a, a dealership. That That's that's right. You probably have free service for this one maybe for another year or so. But um, you got your Slee sliders. Those are frame mounted rock sliders from Slee. Some of the best sliders out there, especially for Toyotas. And uh, you can lift the vehicle from there with the high lift gives you a massive amount of protection and um, you know really heavy duty powder coat on there non-slip step as well this is like probably one of the best sliders for this truck out there yeah, and I've mentioned I really like how it offsets the trim it just matches it does it looks really yeah. really sharp inside the vehicle again we're trying to keep it as clean as possible you do have your new Expedition Essentials um, mount on top of the dash to mount all of your um, 
you know, kind of RAM mount uh, and, you know, screens and this different displays and radios like we've mounted here. You have, you know, different places to mount things to down the road, but this gave us a nice place to be able to mount a lot of stuff inside the vehicle. Got your new Garmin Overlander as well. Oh, and then <laughs> other than that, you know, kind of ready to go. Um, got your uh, S-Pod display right here, and you can go to high beam, and you can go to low beam, and then I can go to, oh, hold on one second, I'll check this out. If I go to off-road, and I go to the LP6 low beam, Let's see, I can go to setup, and for this switch features, I want to allow uh, strobe and dimmable. Save back. So now I can go to. Let's see. So I can strobe the lights now. Wow. Which is pretty cool. You like that, Adam? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I can also dim the lights too. As well. Oh, wow. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. So you can see how low they are now. So that's pretty cool. So you can go in and actually mess around with these different, you know. So. Hey, Ethan, look. Um, so that's pretty cool. So that's your S pod system, all right? Um, that's cool. Just play around with you can't really mess it up. You can rename things like we did LP6 low beam, LP6 high beam. You can do an air compressor down the road. You can do all sorts of stuff, you know? So no worries there. Okay. Uh, you got all your gear in here, but uh, yeah, yeah, tons you, you of gear. more experience than we do with this. You've got your uh, already, you've got your goose gear, uh, seat delete, and the plates in the rear, which I should have gotten a picture before you did all this, but. Uh, um, really great for being able to put lots of gear more than you could have put in my truck for sure and as you can see I've got a ton of gear in here. <laughs> yeah, and you got your fridge which we'll get to as well But the fridge does have its own fridge wiring plug in there So it's routed to the battery directly it communicates with the battery It doesn't the vehicle has nothing to do with what the vehicle is doing It's always getting direct source from that battery you have under the hood. Cool. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? Yeah um, Getting to the camper you got a lot of experience this week at the camper, so you know this. A lot of this you're gonna already know. Um, you got your your uh, table slide uh, here, which is probably one of the best options on these campers, in that you can pull your table out and, and throw your awning out in like two minutes, and you don't even have to be camping to do that. You might just want to take a picnic, you want to hang out for a little bit, whatever it is. Um, this makes life easy, which is cool. Um, and it's actually a very nice table and has gas strut assisted legs. So it opens up super fast. You got your alley cab shadow awning. Uh, again, the, one of the most popular options here for, for these trucks, these campers, tents, you know, the canopies, you know, the ability to, to throw an awning out that, that big within just a few seconds is, is awesome. So it goes and all the way along the side and round to the back. Uh, 270 back degrees, yep. Wraps yeah. right around to the back of the vehicle, which is cool. Um, here you've got your side screen net netting, which is which is super nice, especially come the warmer months when we're dealing with bugs. And then when you're changing, you can actually lower the rest of the tent material down here and actually um, kind of uh, have more privacy and close this off, but still keep this open. You have your national lights here, which have a few different settings. And if I hold it, they go red. And then you still have all the brightness settings there, which is cool. So hold so it, it helps out with bugs. It does. It does. Just the bugs in. I mean, are super attracted to that white light. Yeah. So that's uh, that's nice to have. Like I said, in the warmer months, or when these in the spring, yeah. you know, when these bugs come out. Uh, this is your uh, Expedition Essentials propane uh, propane bottle mount, um, and this is what's going to house the propane tank, which then feeds to uh, this propane line, which then fuels the new Dickinson heater or the fireplace uh, for the new canopy campers. Uh, so if you walk with me around here, you can see the new Dickinson fireplace. Um, and it is supported by a GP Factor um, fit kit now, which reduced the overall price of these significantly and made the install significantly easier than what would have it would have taken before um, to make something like this work in one of these campers. So. This is all together and routed to the propane neatly so no one can see the propane lines and it's all hidden. You have your chimney coming out the rear of the camper and that's also an intake. So this brings in fresh air and also exhausts the burnt air and, um, and, so and 
two walls. In the yep. Cylinder there. And yeah. so that way you're not burning your oxygen inside the camper, which is cool. Yeah. I need to get a, a CO2 carbon monoxide detector. Carbon monoxide. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. We can get those locally. Um, okay. Solar on top, you can't really see right now, but you've got a two, uh, 126 watt exp uh, expansion panel, additional 126 watt panel. Those are linked together and routed to the Red Arc BCDC under a hood that we looked at earlier. So um, the entire top of the alley cab is, is solar, solar, pretty much. Yeah, which solar is cool. Panels, yeah. This is an awesome rear door setup uh, from GP Factor. You got GP Factor's Molly panels and their drop down table, which is very cool. This is great for mounting all sorts of different Molly attachments from first aid kits to water bottles to you know, different cooking utensils, stuff that makes it convenient to be able to work out of the back of this vehicle, which is nice. Inside, a little hard to see, but we have a 1500 watt inverter uh, mounted in the vehicle uh, or in the in the camper. You've got Alucab's 13 gallon um, water tank. Um, That's that white along the back, mm -hmm. yeah, the straps. And we have a, um, uh, you know, a little pump, a pump kit and everything that we installed for you with a hose. Yeah, and it's in that uh, little box over there. Yep. That's pretty so. cool. I lo like that hose. It's expandable. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Ethan, man. He came up with a really great idea there. Uh, your wheels and tires, going back to the truck for a second. Those are Method 701s. They're part of the Trail Series wheels from Method. And they have a higher load rating than your traditional Method wheel or, or aftermarket wheel. And they have like an inner bead... Um, uh, it's not a true bead lock, but it's like a bead grip technology that would help uh, reduce the chance of de-beading the tire when you're at lower pressures. Uh, and so that's that's a really cool new feature. They're also hub-centric wheels. And these are the new Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws, which is a, a great all-terrain tire, kind of do-it-all tire. It is E-rated and also severe weather rated for snow and, and colder climates and stuff like that, which is cool. Yeah. And then you've got your um, Snowmaster fridge inside here, which is all set up and wired directly to the battery inside the vehicle. Nice fit for the back of your vehicle. Should give you plenty of room for, for your food and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. You got your shower cube. Um, again, I think one of the most uh, undervalued items out there. I think a lot of people kind of overlook these, but man, when you're actually camping to have your own privacy, while you're camping and uh or to be able to take a quick shower is a huge plus so it's, that's really cool um so and and again the setup on this just like everything else alu cab is very quick it's weighted so it rolls right out the stakes are included stake it down in the four corners of the shower cube literally 30 seconds and you yeah it's out. fast it's yeah. very fast um <clears throat> and uh under the hood here on the second battery you've got your circuit breaker so you can turn power off to the camper right from here all right so you can just flip that over and turn power off if you needed to your fuse block i uh, didn't get to that on there but you've got a goose gear electrical panel with a blue c fuse block and also a 12 volt outlet bank back there that shows you battery voltage and also has two usbs and a 12 volt outlet to do some charging and stuff while you're sleeping or hanging out in your camper which is neat um and other than that, uh, that's a, pr a pretty good walkthrough of the vehicle. Yeah. Um, any questions or anything, Steve? From well, I, you know, I think it'd be uh, pretty cool to take it out and open it up and you know take yeah. a look at that. Yeah, so, yeah. We'll get some pictures of thing here now and and before you go and um, yeah, this thing is awesome, man. I am just so psyched. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. No, no, thank you, man. We appreciate you. Yeah.